you want to install a bunch of these onto just one of these, you're in the right video because I'm going to show you everything that you need to do to get this done. My name is Blaine and it starts right now. In order for this to work, you'll have to have your Wii U jailbroken and have access to the homebrew launcher. So if you haven't done that yet, watch this video first. It's linked here and also in the description below. With your powered USB hard drive or USB stick formatted in FAT32 format, insert it into your Wii U. If you haven't formatted it yet, the console will take care of this for you. Just follow the on-screen prompts. The size limit for the drives is two terabytes, and if it's a USB hard drive, it must be externally powered. Once it's formatted, press OK, and then go to the Homebrew Launcher. You'll need to launch an app called disk to app You can get it from wiiu.hacks.guide, and I've linked that in the description below. Just download it and extract the contents to the root of the SD card. But if you downloaded the Google Drive packet from my original video, you've already got this on your SD card. You'll get the choice to copy the disk image over to your SD card or your USB formatted drive. For this step, you want to copy it over to the SD card. So press A, and you want to make sure you have up to 25 gigabytes available on your SD card. Some of these games are pretty big. Now you'll get a message instructing you to insert your game disk. Shocker, I know, but this is the point where you insert your game disk. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using Yoshi's Woolly World, which I own. Once your game disk is inserted, give the program a moment and it will start dumping it to the SD card. It actually takes a pretty good amount of time to dump a disk. It can take upwards of an hour or so, so be patient. I think in this case it took somewhere around 25 minutes to do the initial dump. If you look on the screen here, it says converting WUP-P-AYCE to app. That's actually the name of the game that you're going to see on the SD card. It's not going to say Yoshi's Woolly World, so just be aware of that. And it's probably best to dump these discs to the SD card one at a time and then convert them over to the USB drive one at a time. Once you're done dumping the disc to the SD card, just go back to the Wii U main menu, to the launcher. And once you get to the launcher, you'll want to go right back in to the homebrew launcher. Again, if you have already downloaded the Google Drive packet to your SD card, you're gonna have these. But if not, go to wiiu.hacks.guide, download it from there, and extract the contents to the root of your SD card. So you're gonna see this on the TV screen, but you're gonna see this on the Wii U gamepad. To get your game copied over to USB, tap on the game name. It's gonna be that awkward, like in this case, the WPPAYCE, and then tap install. It's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna install it? Um, yeah, so tap yes. Then it'll ask you where you wanna put it. You don't want to put it on the system memory, because the point of this is to put it on the USB. So tap USB. Once you confirm the install process, it will start converting the game over from the SD card to the USB drive on the Wii U. This takes some time as well, probably about another 15 or 20 minutes or so. Just let it do its thing. And once you're done, you'll be able to go back to the Wii U homebrew launcher. Excellent, now that it's done, just tap OK on the gamepad to go back to the Wii U Homebrew Launcher. And from the Homebrew Launcher, go back to the Wii U main menu. So just close the software. And there it is, Yoshi's Woolly World. Let's give it a try. Make sure the disc is ejected from the Wii U and select it from the launcher. You may get asked about doing a software update. You'll need to do it in order to launch the game, so go ahead, it'll be fine. And as you'll note here, it's going to install that software update to the same USB area that the game itself is installed, which is really cool. And once that's done, it's Yoshi time. You can play the game directly off the USB drive and put your disc away for safekeeping. So you can reclaim that space on your SD card. Just put it back in your computer and go to the following. 
on the root of your SD card, you'll see a folder called Install. Go ahead and double click into that. What you'll see inside there is you will see the folder with the exact same name as that file that you just made to create the Wii U game and install it on your USB drive. It's about seven gigabytes in this case, so you're gonna get a lot of space back. Just delete it off the card. It'll permanently delete it, and you'll have all that space returned right back to you for use on your Wii U. Then when you're done, eject it and put it right back in the Wii U. With two terabytes maximum storage size for a hard drive for the Wii U, you can literally put dozens upon dozens of Wii U games right on USB and play them from there. It's tremendously convenient and lets you keep your disk stored away for safekeeping. Also, you will need separate USB drives for Wii games if you plan to do the same thing. Same process is fine, but you can't put Wii and Wii U games on the same as they format differently. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any great original new content coming up. And if you're looking for more videos on restorations, repairs, mods, product reviews, and other great video game content, check out these videos here.